Neanderthal and whatnot. Uh, Eight feet tall and you can't teach well, that. Because the city guard has already had enough of the other two's problems, right? And the, the city guard knows that uh, uh -huh. the city now knows that they can be resurrected by Lucifer. So they gave it. So they gave Dustin's character a uh, special javelin of lightning that has been blessed in such a way that it prevents things from being resurrected even by gods. So if he feels the need to kill them both, yeah, it, the game's it's done. Just a way to wipe it if it needs to happen. Um. That is so messed right. up and so funny so at the same time. They, you know, they go and they get introduced together and they, they go out. And it doesn't take them like five minutes and Dustin's like tired of their bullshit and rolls intimidation on them to basically become the leader of the, their pack. And like, you will listen to me and do what I say type thing. Which, of course, he wins because he's an eight foot tall crocodile. Uh, with a giant axe at that rate. Uh, but... Uh, they make their way to the potion shops, and now the potion shop is selling a little tiny vial, one swallow potion for, like, a bunch of gold that no one knows what does. Even the potion shop doesn't know what it is. It was just something somebody brought into them, right? As far as the potion lady remembers, right? Uh, so the <coughs> person's just like, buy it. You know, okay. Thing. And at first he's like, we're going to make Cody dig it. We're going to make Cody dig it. We're going to make Cody dig it, right? And Cody's playing the little dwarf thing. And at the last minute, Dustin's like, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to take it. So he drinks it, and now he gets it. Wait, hold on. That got really loud for no damn reason. Okay, so uh, what happened when he took it? He's made of crocodile scales. The, what the, the fuck? The potion was there in case someone wanted to play Enku, and you happened to decide you wanted to test out this random potion, it would give you your wings as a Kenku. The problem is, if something that's not a Kenku drinks it, well, it still gives them wings. How about a magic this little drink? homebrew potion I, I had come up with, like, months ago as just a little funny thing. And, like, so if you were a human and you drank it, you would end up with skin wings. You would be able to fly, but your wings would be literal just human flesh. And it, I, the con, yeah, that was the idea. Gross. So kind of que creepy and weird for most things to end up with this, and they're permanent, right? Uh, but he drinks it instead of making Cody drink it, so he ends up with, you know, crocodile wings basically. So now he's a eight foot huh. crocodile that can fly. <coughs> highly amusing. Flies faster than get walk. Uh, so then they're they're they're, they're trying. What? So he's now a um. What the hell was that thing? Um. Shit. Um. What's that in the cartoons of Godzilla? There was like a little baby dragon that um, followed the humans around. That was baby around. Godzilla, but baby Godzilla didn't get wings. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. The only the only winged and, uh, monsters in that in the Godzilla verse are Rodan, Mothra, uh, Mothra's evil twin, and King Ghidorah. No, there was. There was one that um, could fly that was, like, he had wings and flew around and would, like, he was probably about eight or nine feet tall. Because um, he would follow everybody around. Like, on the ship. I mean, literally not getting anything you, you said from godzilla yeah it's like from the from the cartoons like the kids cartoons i can't remember his damn name at least i'm pretty sure he had Godzuki. wings and flew around yeah godzuki quite, <laughs> i guess 
obviously not as he, he obviously he's more intimidating because Godzuki was not intimidating up just now. No, was not definitely not. Godzuki was like the anti intimidation. <laughs> like things would pick on Godzuki, and then Godzilla would be like, "Bro, that's my homie," and then they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it." Like that's honest to God, based how that how that fucking cartoon worked. Yeah, but oh yeah. Uh, so then they left the potion shop after that particular incident, uh, and uh, while Dustin was inside the potion shop doing all this, Dust Dallas and Cody were outside performing for gold because D Dustin was basically like, "You two sit here. I'm gonna go inside." Uh, so they they performed for gold outside while okay, they waited, enough. but uh. Then they were all over the place because they had other things to do. They had, like, the main quest. They had a side quest that they had to do that needed to be done that day. And so Dustin's like, wait, what's going on exactly? Which which is, which is good. Which is good. That is that is how a new character should be. Like, okay, what the fuck is going on? Especially one who's trying to take charge. Uh, so they go they go to go back to the rope, the cave full of ropers, right? And he's like, okay, we'll go take care of these okay. things. Uh, granted, none of these three, like, he's never played. So he's just like, okay, we're going to take care of the side quest you have, right? Because he's just like Dark Souls in his head, basically. Uh, so they go, and they're, they're exploring the cave, and they, fi they find a roper. And they're like, okay. And he's like, okay, let's beat the shit out of this thing. And then it, it knocks him unconscious at one point before they're, and then they're able to bring and wake him back up uh, in time for them to kill it. But he's like, okay, that was harder than I thought it would be. I don't think y'all are supposed to be here yet, and they're, they're not, they're really not, but that's their own fault. Uh, so he goes back to the potion shop and stalks up heavy on potions, healing potions, and then goes back again to find one, the last roper. But uh, when they do, they go and they find a hole in the cave, and they peek down, and uh, Cody's character gets out of the way, but Dallas's character gets grabbed by this enormous tentacle that reaches out from this hole. Uh, and Dust so Dustin flies down the hole while holding while holding Cody uh, in order to pull Dallas away from this tentacle. And it was just like, what just happened? It was weird. Um, and they went and fought the last Roper, and it was interesting because they stealthed up to it because they were able to see it, which is weird because Ropers are in stealth on their own. But uh, uh, it it saw Dust uh, Dallas's character, so it like lunged at him. And Dustin's character is hiding behind a rock and just jumps out, kind of like alligator lunge style, basically, and grabs it in his jaws. And it, he rolled a nat twenty, basically, on his attack uh, to bite it. So, and since his bite comes with a grapple anyway, I was just like, you know what? You automatically grapple it, and it loses its next turn. That's the effects of your critical right now, because you've surprised that you've come out of nowhere, and you're just now clenching it perfectly in your teeth. That's what your critical just did. Uh, it does. I mean, that uh, seems Dallas reasonable. Dallas hits it with a critical Eldritch Blast. And, like, now Dallas's Eldritch Blast has already been powered up from his uh, Eldritch Invocations. So he's, like, point-blank blasts this thing in the fucking face and rolls a nat 20 himself. So, like, yeah, it, it flies backwards a little bit from the force of that. Yeah, with Dustin's character still attached. Uh... Then Cody just starts, while in stealth, because he's a rogue, shooting with a crossbow and just hiding again. Uh, and by the time this thing actually gets its turn again, so like it gets its next turn, they, they beat it up, and then on its turn after that, it goes to attack, and it's just been beaten all to hell. And it goes to attack Dallas or Dustin, one of the two, and misses completely on all five of its hits. It's just like rapidly swinging at nothing it's like it's so fucking just like disorientated that it has no idea what's going on and then dustin's like tired of the bullshit so he pulls out the lightning jack and then throws it at the damn thing and i'm like wait what what did he throw the lightning javelin at he was getting tired of it being alive, nice. and he's over there like keeping track because he's like, "How much fucking health does this thing have?" So he's keeping track of how much damage to do, and he he blasts it to hell with the lightning javelin, and it only gets one attack off on its next turn. It's like this thing is still trying to figure out what the fuck is going on to it because it was just going for food, and now it's dead. Literally, in the time it took it to actually do any damage, they had killed it, 
and it was like, wow, that was a stark difference from the last two times. But instead of leaving with their trophies, now that they finished their side quest, they decided to go further into the cave, and they encountered uh, ropers the size of giants. And they immediately oh, ran before they could get too close. And like, nope, <laughs> not having that. And they're and like, that was the realization of that's what's tentacle came up through the hole. Uh, so they went back, and I'm trying to remember what all happened. Uh, they went back and they went to do the actual main quest line after they turned it. They went to turn in the uh, side quest, and the people who gave them the side quest were being snobby. And Dustin's like, take them and tries to intimidate them and they're like you don't intimidate us and then dallas like casts some sort of like spell and intimidates the shit out of them and they're like okay here which is hilarious and they went to go do their main quest they had to fight an egg 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 i don't know how to pronounce that thing egg egg i don't know how to pronounce the damn thing big ass insect thing and they beat the shit out of it like it's nothing. Uh, and then the, this is the real funny part. Okay. So they leave there. It's getting late. It's like six o'clock at night in the game, right? And Dustin's like, "What?" And uh, Dustin's like, "Well, we need to stop and eat because you know, even though we're in town, we didn't find something to eat." And he's like, "Uh, he had. I forgot. I forgot this happened earlier. This happened earlier when they first stepped outside. I have to rewind a little bit. Uh, when they went outside, they got they rolled perception and." found someone trying uh, found a halfling trying to pickpocket them right so they they of course turn around and beat the shit out of him right and the guy runs off and they catch him and kill him in an alley right because oops so dustin's Damn. character because he's a crocodile decides that he wants to eat this guy <laughs> so he rolls to harvest the guy for rations and gets a natural 20 on on uh, rations so he, he hits three rations of halfling. So when they go to eat, he's like, I'm going to eat this halfling now. You know, I'm going to eat my piece of this halfling. He's like, do you guys want some? They're like, yeah. So they all eat the halfling. But no one at all ever mentions cooking the halfling. So they all three ate raw halfling. Right? So that's got that constitution uh, with advantage because he is a crocodile. who's used to eating raw meat and whatnot. Uh, and he, he rolled fine, nothing. But the other two got food poisoning and threw up and Cody passed out. Uh, so he had to take him to the hospital uh, to get their fucking treated for that. Got them fixed for that. Dustin decides he's going to be an asshole to Cody for passing out and steals the sa acid sack that Cody had harvested off of the ACAG. Uh, so now Dustin's carrying around an acid sack for no reason. And then Dustin, being a loner, outdoor creature, barbarian thing, doesn't do well in inns and civilized society, so he leaves the city and builds himself a little camp outside the city. Cody decides he wants to follow because he wants to be a show-off and ends up kind of like sadly in his sleeping bag by Dustin's fire because he's unable to do anything. Which I thought was hilarious. And then Dustin and Dallas goes and gets completely shit faced and ends up not having money for the inn and stumbles drunkenly out to the fire and passes out next to him. So, the, the, oh yeah, they, they uh, before he passes out, they pass him uh, the legs that they harvested off the ack uh, but they had dipped it in the acid from the acid sack. So he, he got further sick from eating that. Right? But yeah, wow. I found the comedy was the fact that they just blatantly murdered a halfling in broad daylight and nobody saw anything, and then they ate him raw. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck, yo? Look, clearly some bitches were hungry. But, so, because they were able to take out the ropers today plus the ak and all that, I, I did let them level up today, because ropers are, like, a really high fucking hard-to-kill thing. Uh, so so they, got, they right. got their next level up. There's a, they're all level three now, and Dallas now has a Sado dragon that he's summoned from hell. He named it Shenron because he's a weeb. But 
so he has a little state of dragon now. And I've decided that they're all gonna wake up the next day. Dallas is gonna be completely hungover and not know what in the fuck happened. And there's just gonna be this dragon talking to him telepathically. An enemy has been slain. Ninety-nine percent sure Dust Dal Dustin's character will just try to eat it. Because that's just seemed to be his thing now. It's like, oh look, food. <laughs> And Cody has decided to be an arcane trickster. The joke's on you. <laughs> uh. But yeah, so that 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 was how this went, and it was rather interesting. And I'm, I'm kind of curious how this is going to go the next time we play, but we're not going to play again until Dustin gets back down to Texas, like sometime in January before I come back. Let me give me time to set everything up. I am getting wrecked That's so hard in this game of league. Well, our mid lane is like. Like, their Alistair's like, who you fooling? And I'm like, no one. I can't do shit this game. Gonna start posting because I posted the other two. So I want to post dust characters <coughs> shit in there as well, just so you can see what it looks like. Gotcha. Post his character sheet. Information. God, it's so hard to do all these. He's got a. He's got another. He's one of those with a really long one for no reason. There's yeah, always a reason. Oh my god, they're diving. Diving so hard. God, they didn't even give a fuck. Yeah, the uh, his feet now for having flight is just like you've grown per wing, you've grown wings made of you. You have a flight speed of thirty. Because I couldn't think of a better, really better way to worry about it. They have they, they, this team is literally seventeen to our six. Like they have murdered us because of our mid lane. Just let their mid lane go wherever the fuck they fucking that's felt no like. Bueno. I don't know shit about what you're doing, but that's no bueno. Mm. I'd say whenever you let somebody just fucking tear all over the goddamn map and terrorize, fair. It doesn't matter. But he's also Dustin's character is also the herald of the, has also got the background of herald of the gods. So the gods have basically given him a, pe a fucking mission, which is kind of funny because Dallas is uh, given a mission from Lucifer, and Cody is on a quest to kill creatures. So they're all just a little fucked. But 
also means doubt posting that the ability to cast the dancing lights spell. He also has hair. His, cro his crocodile has hair because gods have touched him. This is fucking yeah. ridiculous. Sounds like it. I have seen some like shit games in my day, but this is bad. Dustin could technically multi-class as a monk right now if he wanted to go from barbarian to monk. Is it that upsetting to you right now? Oh, that actually would be pretty cool. Right, Two especially coming a from a barbarian, it's like you found your inner zen. It's good, it's good, it's good, uh, flavor text, at least. Exactly. Still have the rage within you, but you've, you've learned to control it. And harness it. Oh my god, he's 4-0 and 13. No wonder he's fucking unstoppable. That's Ooh. fucking ridiculous. We're 17 minutes in. Their support <laughs> can wreck anybody on the team. Like, this is nuts. <coughs> huh. No, I've, I've, Nyx, I am no longer mad about this league at all. I am, I am past that because there's, I've never seen a game be so out of fucking control in my, in, like, literally, the only time I've seen games get this out of control. We're talking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 bitch. Uh, has literally been, um, from ranked. And that's where you just end up getting, like, really mismatched teams. <coughs> yeah, we didn't we we didn't give you guys the fucking anything. Ah, ha ha. Early surrender bitch ass. I liked playing with that Ziggs though.
I mean, that was beyond. That was ridiculous. That hurt my soul. Someone actually honored me. I'm just going to leave before I can say anything else. Yeah, because now you don't get any blue essence for doing anything, which is, mm. so it's just irks me. That part, that part angers me. <coughs> Damn. God damn it. Poor Taru. Um, I'm ready for Sunday. <laughs> it's just ready. Fun, fun, Sunday, fun day. I'm ready for. I'm ready. For, I'm. I'm ready for Sunday. Um, Nyx okay. has the switch going, which I know you've already known because you've played. Um, I can actually log into Star Wars Galaxy WSG Emu, yeah. so I can actually play Galaxies. Um, I have. I all I've done there is made a character. I wanted to go ahead and stream that. Um like anything beyond the character making. I still have to figure out the controls and all that fun shiznit. Uh, but instead of playing that tonight, I played Final Fantasy uh, 3. So I'm, I've already started on Final Fantasy 3, um, which I'll probably continue some of that. Because um, I'm definitely wanting to do some like one-player game times um, on Sunday. I don't, know, I don't know what Sam wants to do. Um, but I'll probably end up throwing in some Galaxies, some World of Warcraft. Uh, I'd like to get a couple of games of League of Legends in with Sam so I can try and get him leveled up a little bit more. Um, obviously, quite a bit of PUBG, Elite Dangerously, Divinity. Um, so, I mean, right there alone, that's a damn fine sh uh, day of streaming. So, I'm, like, super pumped, super ready to go. And, yeah. 